So, uh, first thing, uh, let's see a few changes I did right off the bat op on the open UI. Uh, we will set the current inventory index on zero, same on the closed UI, but we're going to reset uh, the previous inventory index. We can actually do this on both and uh, to minus one. So the next time we're going to be coming in here. Uh, this eliminates the last error we've seen uh, on the previous video which uh, which was basically an array out of you know the length of the array wasn't the correct that was because the current inventory index was coming in uh, as uh, minus one but we want this to be separated okay so to play it safe we're going to be setting the current inventory index at zero and the previous inventory index at minus one because the previous the yeah we don't really care about the previous inventory index because we're not using that uh, case we're only using it to detect if there was a change or not so if i change the weapon as i can see we still have the issue with the first one we're going to fix that but at least we fixed the problems the problem we had with the other uh, yeah, with getting an array uh, error. We still have a few more issues, which is uh, we cannot actually we are equipping a model, but we don't have we play we still keep playing the previous animation. Okay, so we need to debug uh, why we're not attacking. Well, we are attacking, but we're doing the unarmed kicks. Let's uh, lock this. We're going to see some of this as well, probably. So let's go into again our inventor UI. On tick, uh, load items from slot. Let's see. Go to definition. If the icon ID is unarmed, which means it's going to load the the unarmed attacks maybe it's coming it's coming from here we'll see let's do a debug log icon dot id just in case Let's clear that. Great short. Close that. No, we are passing the correct. Uh, it's the correct ID. So yeah, the problem is somewhere else. Let me fix a little bit my controller, so it's not in the way. Okay, let's delete this. Let's go further down, load the weapon item. We are assigning everything, yeah, this is correct. No, actually this doesn't have to do with uh, what we're looking. We're looking at the wrong place. It has to do with equipment. Yeah. Data equipment slot, consumables, no. Yeah, it's over here, load inventory. Load inventory. We create the runtime weapon again, we clear our references, we assign the runtime weapons, runtime weapon, and we bet I think we have to assign the runtime weapon as well. Maybe this is uh, let's see, consumable the runtime. Equipped consumable. Mm. I'm going to guess that it's somewhere over here that we have an issue with the right hand weapon. Let's do or let's see how we are doing this beforehand because I, I believe we are using somewhere uh, we have also the action manager. So let's go backwards to this. Okay, when we initialize. We initialize the player, or well, okay, this doesn't matter. Uh, we're loading the inventory first. 
which is this so let's see what the first step is or the next step you need this and we also initialize after the first time we have initialized our vettery we also initialize the action manager so this is what we missed which is update actions 100 okay we need to call this again when we are loading the our inventory let's uh, pin this and let's go into our inventory ui inventory manager load inventory then let's see we should have states no hmm. Yeah, we don't have states because we are not on. Mm. Yeah, this is more of a universal thing. And I don't think we could. Okay, let's do it the the other way, which is inside the load inventory. We're going to also say bool update actions, and we're going to initialize it as false. But if we want to, we can just pass through. So if we want to pass through, we're going to say if uh, update actions, then states dot action manager dot update actions actions 100 on the inventory UI. Mm, it was let's say load equipment, load inventory pass it through in here on the update actions we just added close that, hit play change this and we are here and it works as it should as you can see which is pretty cool let's test the other hand as well Okay, close and that one works as well and you can attack let's see if everything works I can see we have an issue with our two-handed so we're holding both hands both swords on the same one let's see why that is so we're going to go on to our inventory or I think state manager should be more correct. Let's go on the scripts, controller, state manager. Let's search for handle two handed. Is right. If you don't have a right hand weapon, okay, return. Uh, otherwise, uh, re right hand instance left hand weapon instance yeah okay this is the no we don't really care about that and action manager left hand weapon if it's not null then that means uh, you're going to close it so this is probably what's not working let's put a pause in here uh, let's hit play let's see if it works with the initial weapons we have and it doesn't so that means there is uh, we have a few more issues with that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so let's try and see and debug it basically and uh, let's uh, let's put it over here right above so we're going to say debug dot log inventory manager left hand weapon equals null close that hit play false so that means it's not null so something is not working
comes over here unless we have let's see what we're using all of this yeah it's a lot so we're not going to find it there hmm. is 200 is 200 is 200 It's probably something in here, I believe. Or well, let's see. W everywhere we have this to to true. Or well, where we have the set active, this is going to be false. Let's see the rest. Maybe it's here. I think this has to be the problem. Let's uh, comment this. So there is a duplicate over there. And yeah, that was the problem, as you can see. If we change uh, swords, and we still have another issue. Okay, so there's quite a few things we need to fix. For this one, the problem is that if you you're not closing your weapons, if you're using an item or something like that, then that means you have all this. Uh, yeah, this will open. But if we are to hand it, we don't want this to control our inventory or well, you know, if the right hand or the left hand weapon is showing. Okay, so we're going to do and actually we're going to Yeah, we're going to keep it like this, I guess. Uh, if we want to be a little bit more correct with this, we should be doing Mm. Let's do a game object. Actually, no. Should be doing both. Probably. But anyway. Well, okay. Let's leave it at that. And we'll see later uh, how all this is going to come into play. And if it even comes into play, because you know, you might not have something on your right hand, but you might have it on the left hand, so that means okay, uh, let's do game object main model, let's go with mm and let's start it as null. So this will be if uh, it's not null, then the main model is going to be inventory manager right hand weapon dot weapon model okay but if mm equals null still then if uh, inventory manager dot left hand weapon not equals null then mm will be inventory manager dot left hand weapon dot weapon model main model set active the opposite of using item so we need to delete this one as well so if it's not going to take the the right hand weapon the main weapon which we always look first on the right hand then we're going to assign the left hand weapon if you have it okay and over here we should do if mm is still not null it's going to do this okay just in case there is no uh, model anywhere so if you have uh, 
if you are on two handed and left hand weapon is not null then you're going to assign that but what you should also add and uh, inventor manager dot right hand weapon not equals null and we do this because this will only apply if your right hand weapon is not null and so for example let's say you have on your left hand you have only you have only equipped a sword on your left hand okay so the right hand is empty that means your main is on the left hand so if you two hand it then that means you yeah you might have now uh, you might be using it as uh, two handed now but the left hand uh, you know the reference still points on the left hand weapon so that means if you're going to close the left hand weapon that will mean it's going to be an issue with that because you will be closing your left hand weapon instead of opening it and it will kind of contradict with this as well but anyway this will be uh, fine now this is kind of an extreme case or we can actually test this no we cannot test this because we don't have the option to to nullify basically yeah we don't have the option to you know remove an item which we're going to see today so let's go and add it let's go and see how we're going to nullify Uh, the weapon so we have right hand weapons this needs to change actually let's see we have a list on a right hand weapon and we're going through the entire list okay and if it's more than three then we find the equipment slot slot uh, update queue so basically this says that you already have three slots three weapons but you need you are going to assign the rest of this we now need to clear everything we had before which will which we might even be doing no mm, yeah that's not it actually I believe let's see handle slot input if you're switching then you load your current items otherwise you load the item slot from well let's say this no don't want this we want targeting index Yeah, this need to change actually. I believe. Let's put let's put it bug log here and see where this is actually is called or what action is actually performed. Let's hit play. Start. Select select again and it's called right over there so that means it just updated the yeah it updated the ID for my sword right over there which also means when this runs we close all of this and then we load again the equipment we go and load all of this again and finally we load the inventory okay so this needs to change So we should be doing a clear first, let's see. We, I, yeah, we're clearing the reference over here, which is not really wise. So I'm going to do public void clear references. Okay, and let's go back over here. Let's delete this. There's two places we are calling the load inventory one is only need which doesn't need to clear references 
or if you want to be safe okay you can do this and the other place is of course where we want it to be called now so let's do first uh, instead of doing it here we're going to do this up here we're going to say inventory dot clear clear references so let's see how we want this to be added actually inventory let's have weapon item weapon so we're going to create a few lists first one is going to be uh, just things I believe are going to be fine mm, no I don't like this let's close that let's delete that let's uh, let's think of it again we're doing we're clearing the references and we are adding basically we're just recreating all the weapons we have right so I basically want to say that if uh, a slot is unarmed uh, then you know go and delete that so let's try something something different if we press input a input you're going to do all of this if uh, we are pressing the B input you're going to be back switching is false change to switching but first we should be checking if you are switching otherwise it's going to remove well it's basically going to change the slot you are in switching is not switching switching let's get all of this Okay, it's switching, change to switching. Uh, yeah, this is correct. If it's a weapon, uh, well, whatever it is, we're just going to, to assign uh, the same thing, but we're going to need true or false target index. Okay, all this is correct. But instead of over here, let's assign and let's call this empty. Empty. And over here again, let's call this again empty. Oops. And you're going to load your equipment and that's going to be to give you a lot more errors now because equipment slot weapon slot it's going to try and find the EQ slot in here so let's see if we put if uh, string is null or empty on uh, I think it's a slot no event oops yeah we're changing this directly or maybe yet let's just do this null instead of empty because null it's going to be faster to to read than reading a string change this to null change this to null okay and let's go back down and it's null or empty we need to go after the not after the slot null or empty inventory dot rh weapons uh, i
Then do continue, don't uh, no. We actually want to do stuff over here. Update the EQ slot. Slot. Okay. So we need to find this as well. Like this. Do an else. And instead of update EQ slot, we should have a clear EQ slot. Let's find this update. You need to pass an item ID. We don't want to do that though. Hmm. Don't have an icon. So let's say public void clear EQ slot. Uh, let's just pass the item type only. So that will do. S dot S dot. No, we don't pass the. Yeah, let's pass also the equipment slot. S dot uh, icon dot icon dot sprite equals. And here's the thing: we need to pass something also in here or no let's just do enabled equals false and then s dot icon dot id equals null Oops. final references here we are and we should do equipment equip slot UI clear EQ slot the slot and item type dot weapon let's copy all this and uh, we want to do the same with the left hand as well and this is going to go above and this should be left hand weapon and this should be like this oops i plus three delete this yeah inventory dot left hand weapons okay for the consumables yeah it's going to be something similar or well almost uh, identical I would say so if string dot is null or empty inventory dot consumable uh, consumable items I then do this else get the equipment slot above cut this paste it here mm, we actually want this to be in here and over here we're just going to say this is going to be clear we don't pass a string we'll pass the slot and the type okay stop that and then you're going to load your inventory again and again load equipment let's see Let's find the reference. We want this. It's going to be called on your B input and on your A input. Okay. The load equipment. Let's try this. We might get a few errors. Especially when we're going to, I believe, when we create the items. And we already did, from what you can see. Uh, 
yeah, some things work, but some others, of course, don't. So, left hand weapon. Yeah, this has to do because there is no weapon model. Uh, stuff like that. Back on to our inventory UI inside load equipment. When you are clearing uh, one of these, or right hand weapon, stuff like that, we want to also know list. We're going to just store the indexes. The indexes. Uh, let's say right hand empties. So we're also going to be, let's initialize again, new list, we're going to be saying I can't empties dot add the I you have. So after that we're going to be doing for our hand empties dot count for each of these, you're going to go on to your inventory. right hand weapons dot remove and I think remove at should work again yeah since it just passes the the index okay so we save the index and then we're doing another for loop that basically just going to go and remove the empty entries into your right hand weapon Let's do the same for the left hand weapon, although a bit of encapsulation should have uh, worked nice in here, but anyway. And we want I'll hand empties. Let's initialize it to I'll hand empties dot add I and then for L hand empties dot count inventory dot L hand dot remove at L hand empties I okay one more time for the items of course we you will have to well we're probably going to do it too uh, for the equipment and uh, any other type of uh, in the our item we have so this is going to be con empties and over here I'm going to say con empties add i and then for con empties dot count inventory dot consumables consumable items dot remove at con empties I okay so this is going to clear up the inventory it's going to remove any entries we have we that you know don't exist and then we're going to just do load inventory let's try it Mm, yeah, we have one issue over there. And that's one thing to do. Let's see what this is. Uh, if you're not handed, if we burn mod for some reason, this one, the left hand weapon doesn't have a weapon model, which is a little bit weird. Unless, unless, let's see, let's see what the clear references do. Enter UI, let's see, do we do a clear, clear references, our weapon, yeah, left hand weapon, null. Right hand weapon also null. Yeah, 
hit play you can see now it's correct and we have this okay there is only one argument exception that we need to fix and the left hand doesn't work exactly as we want to let's see the argument exception it should be uh, inventory UI 670 let's see vendor UI 670 which is this so oh yeah this will be left hand weapon and left hand weapon okay oh, we might uh, yeah this might be correct now let's see and it is and as you can see now I've changed the my well my weapons for my yeah for my fists basically let's see if this is going to do we cannot assign again uh, slot uh, or well an item and let's see why six thirty nine inventory inventory y seventy eight let's go up 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 seventy eight it's coming over here so the target index uh, the current item position yeah so this needs to go apparently and hmm. so we can just do I believe because the target index let's see well, we're going to say, oops, if uh, target index is greater than inventory manager dot rhand weapons dot count minus one. Else. like this and then just to inventor manager dot uh, right hand weapons dot add current inventory icon dot id okay let's do the same for above we're going to do a minus three though so we're going to say if uh, target index is yeah again is greater than uh, vendor manager dot left hand weapons dot count minus one else we don't actually have to do add that many brackets but let's keep them just case we need to add something else so that's kind of important okay hopefully this is going to work let's hit play let's remove the other weapon as well okay hit play change the weapon and yeah it works fine as you can see So we can now change also weapons with the unarmed. We're still not done yet because we need to also update the... Well, at least on the empty. We need to update the equipment slots in here. Let's see if this is going to work for the consumable. 
and I think it's going to, no, it didn't. So we need to update the consumables as well. Well, at least we have our item set. Let's stop and let's update the equipment slots. We're going to do the same. We're going to go on to, let's go action manager. Let's find the init and then I think it's uh, the UI probably uh, or somewhere in here. Factual, no, we just changes the slots. Yeah, I forgot where we are setting this. Need Charles, inventory, or maybe it's is it here? I don't think so. Action manager in need. It's definitely not the animator hook. Maybe it's this. No. Or maybe it's even higher than this. States in it. Yeah. Okay. We need to also uh, call an update for this one as well. Inventor UI. Because this is going to assign Vendor Manager, it's going to create uh, UI elements and it's going to init the equipment slots. We might get away if we just do public this. From what I can see, we have all the equipment slots. Mm. No, that's not it. Let's say player status. Well, where the okay, let's see if where we are changing the weapons, what we are calling then. So, clear references, load inventory, no. Equip weapon, no. It should be switch weapons or change to next weapon. We are changing all of this. We call the equip and we are calling this one as well let's see maybe it's over here yeah it's over here and you do UI slot single down get item and yeah you update the slot over here so we should just yeah we should do something in here with all of this but the problem is, if you don't have a weapon, you're never going to come in here, for example. Okay, so let's do an else. And let's uh, write it like this first. Let's take all of this. Yeah, you can guess this can now be cast. Take this, put it in here. Inside the update slot, I also want I want to do the icon. Mm, yeah, we're already doing this, so I'm going to take Q dot icon update slot. This can be the right hand. It's the same. And instead of an icon, maybe we can just do, yeah, we don't want this. Okay, let's cast this because, you know, as you can see, we're going to use this. UI slot, on in it, UI slot, UI dot quick slot dot singleton. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's instead of an update slot, let's do a simple public void clear slot, clear slot, and let's also pass the type because why not? And simply do K 
Geht's laut? False. Okay. So. Clear slot. Let's go back. And here do a clear slot. And clear this. And same. The same thing is going to happen with the left hand. But this now is going to be the left hand slot. Okay. And let's clear the singleton we have over here since we don't need this anymore. We already have the, the reference. And it should be. Uh, yeah. Let's delete this one again. In here. Let's find all our singletons. You can still keep the singletons for the resource manager. I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. So that's correct. Let's clear. Let's see if this is going to work. Clear. Clear. And your character got stuck, but you can see that our items are going away, or well, the icons. But of course, it doesn't work for the for the consumables. But it works for the rest of it. So at least we are on a good, uh, yeah, we are on a good position. Which means we have load inventory. We, which means we don't clear, we only clear the weapons, so that means we also need to clear our runtime spells and runtime consumables. So, four, yeah, four. Runtime consumables dot count destroy runtime consumable dot uh, i dot item model if they, if it exists if are consumable i dot item model okay. And uh, we should also, yeah, let's be safe and let's see, uh, only do this if there is actually in, an initialized uh, consumable list. And after we have destroyed them, then do a clear. The rest will take care of themselves. And I think, yeah, we have the consumable. Actually, we might need to destroy a few more things with this. Okay, let's. Uh, we, we're going to check this in a bit. Let's do our spells. Not equals null. Then for i r dot spells that count although I don't think let's see if we have if we even have any reference with that can be destroyed yeah we have a few particles I guess and hook mm. yeah the spells don't really work that way so we might be safe with this uh, let's delete them, this and basically what I want to do that will save us the well at least not for the weapons but for anything else because we also have a few references that stay away we should create a game object here and we're going to call this references parent the reference is parent, we're going to initialize as a new 
yeah. Actually, yeah, we're going to initialize as a new game object, but not in here. Oops, singleton. We're going to do it inside the clear references. Right on the end, we're going to say reference parent, but before that, if reference parent, if it already exists, then destroy the references parent. Then, anytime we do an instantiate, but not as uh, something that we override parent, for example, this is going to. Um, yeah, that's not the case. This is basically want uh, when it's going to create your particles. Um, yeah, so we actually may, might be able to destroy the particles. But anyway, I don't want to mess with the instantiation. When we are turning a weapon to runtime weapon, basically we are creating a new game object. Okay, which is going to store information. So that needs to be destroyed as well. So transform dot parent is going to be references parent. Transfer. Okay, the weapon model is parented under your own uh, under your own rig, and we have a references to that uh, from the runtime weapon. So we already taking care of this, but we need to get rid of the first reference of the weapon because we're going to be creating new ones and new ones and new ones. So we need yeah we need to take care of this. We also need to do this. For any time we do the same thing when we're creating a game object and turning it into a run the random version. So that means over here as well. Consumable to runtime again. Okay. And yeah, these three probably are uh, enough. And, uh, but yeah, we should also destroy the, yeah, let's destroy the references for, for the spells as well, just to be safe, although we're not going to see uh, if it works in this video, because we don't have the logic for changing our spells, but it's going to be also the same. So we have our spells dot count, and we're going to say if our spells dot uh, well the index dot current particle okay it's a game object so we can say destroy our spells i dot current particle then simply do a clear our spells dot clear and you should be done and then we're going to be destroying the reference parent and then creating a new one. So the next time you're going to load the inventory, you're going to have a clean slate. Close that. But we still need to, I think we still need to do the, to clear the, the consumable slot, I believe. yeah on the equipment slot but you can see everything is okay this is the new parent we just created so if i go and change a weapon oh mm, yeah that is a bug we need to fix as well but anyway you can see that when i'm going and creating a new weapon then it's going to have all the random weapons we need to have which also needs to be for the unarmed, the great sword and the fireball. Let's see. Okay, we don't have an item, so I'm pressing the X and nothing happens. I cannot use the item, which is cool. And
yeah we should just go and find where the where we are using this again make you slot spell icon equip spell uh, not spell quick consumable which is over here okay uh, quick consumable and uh, let's see then it's zero consumable index if it's zero then we're going to say let's find this update UI slot yeah we're going to just take this because it means we don't have any icons, any items. And we're going to say clear slot. Close that. Let's do the same for the spells. Since we are here, equip spells, else, your slot, clear slot, and this should be spell. Save that. Let's try it. Actually, I want to do one more thing, which is instead of getting the on our vendor UI, instead of getting the B input, which will be over here, uh, I want to change this to X input because I think that's the the back button on Dark Souls or the empty button. Unless no, I think it's also the B button. So we're going to do take this. And we're going to use that if input uh, dot b input okay if we are switching so we're going to use that as the back button but the x as the other one uh, what where we can actually do is also use the b button for here and say that we're going to Let's find this. Actually, let's start adding a few regions because this gets pretty big, as you can see. And we don't need to worry about stuff. We know they're working. So close this region. B input. And uh, let's add another region over here. Close this as well, and we are here. Okay, and I want to to change. Well, the close UI. Let's see where the close UI is, or well, it's called from. Close this. Close this. Not on init. Open UI and close UI. Okay, it's going to be this. So that means we should also yeah, we should also have a reference to our input color. So that needs to get updated beforehand. Hmm. Well, okay, it's not really that much of an issue because we can just say in here inventory or actually, you know what? Let's do a public menu, a public bool over here. Public bool is menu and into our input handler, we're going to delete this one and we're going to say if inventory if inventory UI dot is menu and basically we're just going to take that boolean uh, for this inventory UI inventory UI and inventory UI so 
if we now change this menu from our inventory UI which will happen onto our B input if we change this to false it will also be closing the, the menu if of course we are on the switching and not on the if we're not on the switch if we are on the equipment slot okay then uh, this will just return back to the equipment slot okay so we have our handle slot input and uh, what i want to also do now right now is uh, i'm going to close this as well if you are on the menu so if it's menu it just is open false so if you have it open it's going to clear that let's make sure that okay we just open that and we're going to say it's just open okay okay let's see where else this is used okay so this will also work as fine inventory ui dot is menu this one as well okay sweet although we need to find where this is uh, enabled yeah no i think we are we are correct with this which will be fine let's test all of this as you can see there is a lot of stuff to test and we have an error but our slots are clear let's test the, the gesture menu when it is open okay this is going to work uh, if i press start and close it again we also close the gesture menu okay we can attack normally let's uh, switch a weapon it works as you can see and let's select to change another one and let's hit back it works let's hit back again and it doesn't oh it works but it doesn't close it doesn't close the UI because yeah because you have to actually call this from somewhere menu let's see where this menu comes from from oh yeah because this won't run if this is not uh, correct this won't run if there is a button up so we just need to also do close UI over here is menu false close UI okay this will work let's see this what it is a hundred and fifty one uh, with script inventor UI of course 151 should be in here oh it's here because the current EQ the item position we are getting here is uh, Yeah, it's higher than the consumable items. So we're going to say if inventory uh, or current EQ. Oh well, let's do a target index. Current EQ slot dot item position. If target index is lower than inventory manager dot consumable items both count minus one close that uh, else do 
You should probably be adding this. Uh, and actually, this is. Uh, oh no, this is correct. Yeah, so if it has something to actually remove, you should be removing it, otherwise, it won't do nothing. Okay, so this should be fine now. Let's see now. Oops. And no, it doesn't. Does it work? interesting okay, okay. target index this will be let's remove the one And well, it works now. Okay, so I can change my items and I can change my weapons, which yeah, it kind of gives us some results that we don't want. And as you can see, we have the yeah, the animation stay back. So let's fix those as well. Where we are on our inventor manager. When you are equipped and equipped, you force it to play these animations, of course. So that means we also need to clear the slot, and we can say that uh, anim, or better yet, state dot anim dot. Uh, oops, not in here. We want this to be. This is for the spells. This is for the weapons. So, anim. The dot play. I think it's empty. L. Actually, let's check just to be safe. Right hand. Empty R, empty L with lowercase, empty L, and this will be states.anim. Copy all this, paste it, and change this to right. Hit play. I'm going to change this to the great sword, and you can see that it plays a different. Oops. Yeah, we found another bug, I believe. Let's clear this, clear this, and clear this. And we now don't play the idle animations, but. We found the bug that uh, if I press play, if I hit start and just press start again, you can see that we don't have any weapons. So that's another issue we need to fix. Close that. Let's see where we should fix this. Or where it is basically, and maybe it is on the. It's not on the inventor manager, although it has to do with clearing the references. In here, but it probably ca comes with uh, changing something in here. If I input 
Yeah, it's probably something like this. Load equipment, final references. VX input. Oh, yeah. Here's the the issue. When you are opening the UI, you are calling the equipment, and after you load this, you're going to say that you want to load your inventory, which is also going to. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to do all the same things. Let's go back. London character should default as false. Yeah, this cle clears the references, so you should say if load on character, only then clear the references. Otherwise, you're just loading what you already have. Hit play. Okay, and now we fix that bug as well. Let's make it so that when you are moving inside the, the inventory, you cannot do any actions. So for example, uh, if I press an input for this, it will also play the animation. Let's see if we can change yeah, we cannot change. Hmm. So yeah, we should change the... Well, we're going to do that either on the next one or I'm just going to do it on flying because it doesn't... As you can see, it mostly tests and see what works and what doesn't and what... Uh, you know, it's more to our advantage than a disadvantage. And that takes a lot of time to work, but anyway. And... Yeah, let's clear the inputs so that you cannot do any any actions. But you can still move, just like in Dark Souls. So that will be... You are taking all your inputs from here. Let's do final references. You're going back. You're getting your inputs, you're doing the handle, but you should be updating your states. Uh, except for... Okay, we're just going to do a return on all of these, because we don't need them. So you're just going to have uh, your move amounts and stuff like that. So we're going to say if inventory UI dot is uh, menu return hopefully this is not going to cause any problems let's see where we're calling this nowhere so we can just delete that I guess anyway I think I had it for a reason let's delete that then where we're going to see and yeah, I know why I had it, but anyway, close that, hit play. F to test this, we'll also do two screens. Let's find our character. Okay, let's get rid of the 2D. Okay, we can move around. We can attack. But we have an issue, we don't load any of our of our actions. Let's see if they're going to load if we have a new weapon. And they do. So there's something with a need with the initialization we're going to find that anyway let's see if we are going to do an action now yeah that action has to do with uh, changing your equipment so it's not really uh, that big of an issue well at least mm, 
yeah, they're all. Oh, they all happened because I just keep uh, kept it kept it down. But mm. okay, we need to, to fix a few more of these issues. Nothing major. Get input. Uh, we're going to just take all of this onto our get input. We're going to say if inventory UI dot is menu. And actually, we can just do. Yeah, we need all of that till down here. So let's us do an if. Now, if you want to, you can just make all of this false and reset them. If you feel that you want to. Except the menu, of course. Okay, so this will fix uh, that role problem we had. Let's find the initialization uh, issue we have now. And this will be probably in the event manager. Clear emphasis, let's see. Oh. Mm, yeah, that's not. Damn it. We're going to get rid of the in the clear references on the initialization because the clear references over here it's just going to clear your weapons your yeah your strings over here so that means it's going to take it so that you don't actually have any weapons no that's n it's not going to do that so this will be safe Not inventory. Actually, let's see why this happens. Let's hit play. Our inventory has sort, sort. Okay, let's go to the action manager. I can see that the action manager is empty. So there's probably something else in the works. Final references, recall, action manager, init, update, actions 100. So this maybe has a problem. And maybe the problem is that there is no right hand weapon assigned. So let's go into our inventory again. Uh, not I want inventory manager load inventory good definition no this will have a, a right hand weapon assigned because this creates new ones okay let's do a clear references let's remove the clear references let's see if that's going to solve our problem Although I doubt it. And that actually brings more problems than solved. Yeah, because there is no reference parent. Let's create one though. Back on init. References parent. New game object. No, it doesn't. Our action slots still don't get uh, called. So that's not an issue with clearing our references. However, it's still pretty weird why it doesn't work as it's supposed to. We are clearing all of this 
And then we're loading our inventory. We are adding our weapons. Okay, okay. Right hand weapon is not equal to null. Then we equip that. Otherwise, we play, we're playing the empty. Right hand weapon, spell items, spell counts. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's this. So let's uh, let's do a true over here as well. Well, the worst that can happen is, you know, it's load the actions two times probably. Or at all, I guess. Oh, because yeah, this isn't yet initialized, so that's not going to work too. So let's do, let's remove the, the true. At least we know it's something from the action manager. Okay, we initialize this and we initialize the action manager. When we are updating the actions on one handed, we're first going to empty all your previous slots, so you're going to change them into uh, the unarmed. Okay. And if there is no right hand weapon assigned, you're going to do a return, which is uh, not really a wise thing to do, to be honest. Because you might have a weapon on the left hand. So let's encapsulate all of this. into something like this if not equals null then do a w and let's say also if states dot vendor manager dot left hand weapon is not equals null well something similar at least actually something never mind that is uh, yeah okay this is not entirely wrong we should still be doing the same and you should be doing a return here so if there is a right hand weapon it's going to you know uh, only deep copy the left hand uh, the right hand otherwise it's going to deep copy the left hand for your two handed actions. But why are we using this? Yeah, that was a mistake. So we need to come over here and we need to see this is wrong. Okay. And this will stay over here. So if you have a left hand weapon, you're going to copy your slots correctly. Otherwise, you're going to just take, keep continuing with the right hand weapon provided you have a right hand weapon though so this needs to probably also change mm. so let's say if states states dot inventory manager dot right hand weapon as well Uh, let's do a uh, if not null there's nothing to to worry about I guess if this is also not null and this prob this checks if this has okay so let's try and do let's see what this is going to do Some of the stuff work, but because we can see, mm, no, I think it actually doesn't. Uh, 
the strange thing is that we have the like if we do this oops right hand no if we change our weapon the first time okay you can see it gets updated yeah actually now nothing works oh so that's brilliant yeah we somehow managed to destroy everything and I'm going to guess it has to do with the with what we just did with the oops with the input handler so let's go on the input handler Okay, let's get rid of the this one, and we're going to get to and if we have to reassign it, we're going to do it later. So uh, let's see. I think we have one more thing, which will be the update states how's that and it actually doesn't even load the so yeah we have a lot more issues I guess on uh, we first zoom, which is weird. Unless we somehow lost our sword items, let's see our actions. Oh, oh, damn it! So yeah, the problem we had is, as you can see, yeah, I did something smart and we actually lost all our uh, attacks so it wasn't uh, the problem with uh, with what with the logic we just wrote the problem was that we don't have any animations on the item so that was a clever thing to do but don't tell anyone i'm just going to add whatever just to test that First step should be RT. Let's hit play. Oops. So yeah, now it works. So that was really, really stupid. What we did, of course, you need to. Uh, we need to fix that as well. Or uh, that will be. I trigger and yeah now it works as it should okay so we are at least closer to be done hit play let's send the weapon let's go with a great sword it works 200 they work with a few clamping but that doesn't matter the combos work 200 and back again hit play clear the item we don't have an item awesome and we have an issue with adding back items let's fix that as well and that will be the last thing we're going to do today okay because we are closing into two hours vendor ui i think it was a hundred and 100 is over here consumable items current position so basically we're going to say if current uh, eq slot dot item position 
is lower than inventory manager inventory come on manager dot consumable items dot count is lower not greater then replace it otherwise dot add current event icon dot ad okay but uh, not that component but uh, yeah I'm going to change this instead of indexes because it doesn't work as we want to okay I'm going to change this into uh, yeah we will have to rethink the whole logic but at least it works for now you're just going to have the issue that uh, let's see it in action so if I come over here okay I don't have any items you can see and I want to add an item and add it on the final one it's just going to place it first the same goes for the swords okay if I go and add one now on actually I don't know if I add one over here what's going to happen yeah everywhere I add it of course because this is the left hand so this is supposed to be the left hand slots on your right hand uh, it's going to add it over there anyway it works of course it's the uh, it's a bug but at least for now yeah it works but I think uh, I want to do that off screen because yeah we have like 10 videos only about UI and that is it is a little bit boring so I'm going to do that off screen and just show you what I did and what the changes I did because I want to basically just keep moving forward with the rest of the controller because there is a lot of stuff we need to do over there but at least it works it's not breaking the game so that means yeah we can at least keep moving on anyway let's end the video here and actually I think we have a few more issues with uh, oh no yeah everything works fine I was you know I had kind of uh, I thought this were, weren't working but it's probably because we don't have yeah because I haven't added any focus costs and action costs let's test that one as, uh, let's put 50 let's test that's going to be the final thing we're going to test so if I attack and yeah it doesn't work Out. so as you can see we have a lot more stuff to fix uh, anyway we'll worry about that on the next videos I think we've covered a lot in this one well for the most part so you know what to do hit that like subscribe and if you like to see more then consider supporting me so I can keep making all this stuff the ways you can support me is of course via patreon or by grabbing a project or two via Gumroad and I have more time to just keep making and keep making all of this until you know we cannot make it anymore but until that time feel free to do uh, the things I just said so I'll see you next time